People cook within 20 minutes something, but for me at least it will take hours. First is two hours, just boil hot water. In the end, the hot water feels smoke, but then later I can become faster. But still, there's a lot of problem. Then one day, I met one uh, nomad, and then he he has a lot of animals in the mountain, and he make cheese. And he knows so many things around the mountain, around the woods, what kind of woods is burn more and what kind of wood cannot dry, or what kind of wood easy to dry. Some woods cannot dry for two or one month, but some woods within three days it will be dry, even in the monsoon. So these things really benefit for me. So he asked me where did I study, I told him like I did three year retreat and after that I to study monastic college for nine years and something like that and he said wow you are very learned amazing i'm stupid i'm not nothing and you know he's uh, always saying something like that but he likes me and he really happy uh, like lama who do retreat in the mountain so normally most of the himalayan in that region is buddhist so they are so happy that lama do retreat so he time to time come and give me some food even I said no but they really want to give me so one day I was cooking and he came and I know I'm doing like you know the blowing the fire and he said ah lama can I help you I said yeah why not and he pick up one small stick and just do like this and the fire come, boop, big fire came, and then within a few minutes, it's boil. So I was very surprised. Then he still continued saying that, ah, you know, you are really learned and I'm, you know, stupid. So I told him, maybe some aspect I learn more than you, but another aspect, you are more learned than me. So I told him, I was struggling to boil, to cook this food. But you did something and the fire comes within a few minutes, it's totally boiled. 
and I know nothing about what type of woods and I know nothing about how to make cheese and I don't know how to look after all these animals so so many things I don't know and then he said yeah, that's true so I said we all have unique qualities different experience different knowledge different skills and different capacity so what I have you may not have everything what do you have I may not have everything so it's really important to see our basic qualities our inner qualities and to explore and to believe in that so he was so happy he said that's true so our true nature is like diamond so if you put diamond on the different color background it may change the color but the nature of diamond never change but um, normally what we see is only the color we don't see diamond so you just see blue we don't see the crystal clear diamond pure diamond so therefore if we more and more get in touch to within ourselves actually our mind is more than thought more than emotion so really amazing although we are covered by our conceptual mind all this uh, negativity and thought and emotions but our true nature is still good our true nature has unchangeable happiness and it is free from suffering so therefore we are looking for our true nature and another word is we are going back to our home so sometimes what we call homesick you know so if there's a bird and bird nest so sometimes the bird flies away very far away but always the bird want to go back to the nest why because the nest is the real home for the bird so therefore our real home is our true nature but the surface level there's a clashes negative emotion there's selfish there's ego it's only in the surface level but the deeper with heart there's love and compassion awareness all these things also Yeah.